In this video today I am bringing you my 2018 project pan finale. Now this video is super late but I am excited to let you know how I did on my 2018 project pan so I can get started on my 2019 project pan. So if you want to know the final deets and exactly how much I ended up using up in my project pan in 2018 then keep on watching. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Bettina and I'm the makeup enthusiast. And if you're new around here, make sure you click the subscribe button down below so you can keep up to date on all my new content coming out in 2019. So without further ado, let's jump on in and find out the total of the amount of product that I used up in my project pan in 2018. So as per usual, I'm going to start with the products that I didn't touch, moving all the way through to the pan porn, which I know you guys absolutely love. So don't cheat. Wait until we get to the pan porn and that way you can find out exactly how many products I used up in December. Now I might start with my nail polishes. You guys know I was updating throughout the year. My red one, I probably a little bit over half. So I am really disappointed with the amount of progress that I made on these nail polishes. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with nail polishes going into 2019. The Having these two in my project really helped confirm for me that... I've just kind of fallen out of love with nail polishes. So I think in 2019, I would really like to rekindle my my love for nail polishes. I do have quite a substantial nail polish collection. It's nowhere near what it used to be, but I still have quite a substantial nail polish collection and they're just going to waste. So I'm going to have a think about how I can incorporate nail polishes into my 2019 project to see how I can go with rebuilding that love again. Then we have my Mary Kay foundation primer. I didn't really make much progress on this. This is a hefty, hefty tube. I am probably just over half on this one. So still making progress on that one. Nude by Nature concealer. I haven't touched this one. I'm not going to lie. Same with my color tattoo. I have two of these in my collection and I am seriously, seriously considering decluttering these because I have quite a lot of makeup that has come into my collection over the last couple of weeks and I need some room and I am running out of valuable, valuable space really, really quickly. So I think I do need to do a hefty declutter and see if I can get rid of a few things here and there to try and just make way for all the new things that have come into my life that I am loving more than products like this. My Hoola Bronzer. Now my Hoola Bronzer, it still doesn't look like there's any sign of usage, but I am starting to notice that we are slowly moving away from the top of the pan. So, I mean, it's not much, but I am actually starting to see signs of use and progress. So two lipsticks that I barely touched this month was the, the Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie in Make Your Move lipstick as well as the Bite Palomino lipstick. This one looks really sick. This one is another one that I seriously need to think about whether it is bringing me joy and value in my collection rather than just taking up space. My Makeup Forever N9 lipstick. I made a bit of progress on this this month, but it's not finished. So yeah, unfortunately, this is another mini lipstick that I didn't get used up in 2018. Now, my Marc Jacobs lipstick in Kiss Kiss Bang Bang has the tiniest little nub on it. I was so annoyed that I didn't get this one finished, but that's the way the cookie crumbles. So this one I think I will probably take into 2019's project because I'm getting so close to finishing this one up and it always feels like such an achievement when I use up a lipstick because god those things take forever to use. My Bobbi Brown Longwear Eye Pencil. This one I barely use. I only ever use this when I want like a black base for something because this smudges like the buggery so you really need to set this with something so this one is a really slow and steady product unfortunately. Daz Shop eyebrow pencil I'm making slow progress with this one. Slow and steady with this one probably maybe another I want to say maybe two possibly three months on this one. Then we have my Maybelline Fit Me concealer. I really thought I was going to get this one used up but we still have probably about a month, maybe a month and a half once I take the stopper out of use out of this one. I thought I was going to get it done. I'm so close to having it done, but unfortunately my NARS Laguna Orgasm Duo, you guys know I used up the Laguna bronzer a couple of months ago and 
the the orgasm blush we are starting to see more and more pan so up in the corner here and as well as in the center there i'm excited at the thought and the potential of actually using up a blush be it a mini but still using up a blush because blushes take forever to use up oh i forgot to mention at the start you guys know massive massive fail of 2018 in my project pan is the bobby brown shimmer brick still no sign of progress on this one Probably the last update without giving too much away is the Rimmel Insta Fix and Glow setting spray. This is another product that I was a bit annoyed that I didn't get used up. It has the tiniest amount of product left in here. I'd say probably another solid month though because this does have a really fine spray on it and it takes me a while to get through this bottle. That one is another disappointment. And then we shall move on to the last portion of the video, starting off with the pan porn. So I know you guys love seeing some naked bear pan. So here it is for you guys, some glorious pan. <laughs> Let's actually update you on the products that I finished up. And you're probably thinking, Patina, you just showed me a product that had some powder in it. That's not used up. So the story with my Too Faced Primed and Poreless is I actually completely used up the Primed and Poreless powder. And I stupidly didn't take a photo or a clip or anything like that. Total, total YouTuber fail on my part. But I decided to actually press the Bare Minerals Concealer Powder into this pan and use it as a face powder. I mentioned that I could, that I would possibly try and use this as a face powder last month. I decided that I hate the packaging of this. So I actually emptied it all out into the pan of the primed and poreless and pressed it and i've been using it as a face powder i've actually been really enjoying it as a face powder so if you're wondering what the hell i haven't gone crazy there is a method behind my madness primed and poreless is completely used up the bare minerals concealer powder probably has maybe another month maybe a month and a half on it and then my smashbox full exposure palette i used up the shimmery color that was at the top here that i had a tiny little bit left on so out of this whole palette this year i've used up two colors and i do have a fairly considerable amount of pan on this one here so i think i still want to try and finish this one up because it's a fairly decent amount of pan so i think it's pretty pretty achievable maybe focusing on this one and this one this year I'm not quite sure I'm a little bit over this palette so I might give it a little bit of a rest for the time being then I also used up the Sarah Jessica Parker lovely perfume I only had a tiny little bit of this one left this is the product that I used up quicker than I thought I would so because of that reason I actually grabbed out my Victor and Rolf Bon Bon perfume and I thought this would last longer than it did as well and I used up all of this so this product right here is what got me over my $1,300 goal and yeah so I cheated a little bit but at the same time I still used up the perfume and I didn't waste this perfume at all. I actually really like this perfume, so I didn't want to waste it at all. And I'm actually really sad to see it out of my collection. And then the last one that I used up is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation. I only finished this one today. This bottle is actually quite frustrating. The tube in the bottle doesn't go all the way down to the bottle. So for the, about the last half a month to a month, I've actually had to unscrew this every single day, get my spatula in there and scrape out enough foundation to do my full face so that's been a little bit frustrating for me but it is completely used up those are the four products that i used up in december so the total value of all the products that i used up in my project pan for 2018 was one thousand three hundred and forty seven dollars and fifty four cents oh my god so i went over my my goal by 
almost $350. I am so proud of myself. I actually managed to use quite a lot of products that I didn't think that I would even think of using up. So the numbers of what kind of products that I used up. So this gives you a good idea of kind of what products or what kind of products that I churn through a lot in a year. It's mainly base products just to give you guys an idea. Throughout 2018, I used up five concealers, five lip liners, six foundations, three setting sprays, two blushes, so one cream and one powder, two dry shampoos, and they were both kind of problematic dry shampoos that I had in my collection, so I popped them in my project pan to focus on them. Four perfumes, two eyeliners, two primers, one mini lip gloss, one lip balm, four lipsticks, two of them were minis and two of them were full sizes, two brow products, four powders, two of them were full size, two of them were mini and three of those were loose powders, one was pressed, one eye primer, one bronzer sample and then also two eyeshadows. So I think all in all I am really happy with those numbers. There are products in the categories this year that I have never used up before, particularly eyeshadows. I used up two eyeshadows this year and I am so proud of myself for using up eyeshadows. Other products, like I used up six foundations. That's a pretty impressive number as well as four perfumes. My collection is starting to get a little bit old with perfumes so I'm really trying to get them out of my collection. Some of them are starting to go bad, the ones that are really, really old. So I am really trying to get them out of my collection. I am really happy with my numbers for my project pan from 2018. Let me know how you went with your project pan for 2018. What was the product that you churned through the most in 2018? Let me know down in the comments box. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you like project pans. Also, make sure you click the subscribe button down below so you can keep up to date on my 2019 project pan. The intro will be coming in a couple of days time. That's it for this video everyone. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out with me today. I hope you're having a fantastic day and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye everyone.